Bonjour, I'm Guillaume Gonnet. Hi, and I'm Kelly Gonnet. So welcome to our home. We're in our Provençal Mass. Uh, we're going to do a virtual tour for you today. We're going to take you through the history of the unique appellation of chardonnay du pape It's a Grand Cru appellation, so it's very interesting. Uh, we're going to take you up into the vineyards and show you the terroir and the particularities of the vines uh, in uh, some of the most famous areas in chardonnay du pape And then Guillaume's going to take you back into the cab to show you where the magic happens. So where we age the wine, vinify the wine and age the wine. So are you ready to go, Guillaume? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. The area where our vineyards are situated is steeped in history. Geologically, the Mediterranean Sea was in this area many million years ago. This is one of the reasons that the soil is rich in limestone and clay. A few million years later, a glacier came through and deposited our famous galley roule or river stones. These are an integral part of our terroir as they heat during the long summer days and trap the humidity in the soil. They stay warm all evening, allowing the vine root system to stay warm during the night. La Croix is one of the most famous areas in chardonnay du pape and for good reason. First of all, it's a plateau that is very, very beautiful. Uh, it gets full uh, sun during the day. It is very deep in these galets roulets and has a very, very deep clay soil. These vineyards were planted with American rootstock in the 1900s. So here we're in our Grenache vines, and our Grenache vines are over 100 years of age. So they're really old. The root systems can go down three meters. Uh, and this, when they traverse different layers of terroir, they give us a lot of complexity. So this is really important. They give us a lot of concentration of fruit. Um, they give us very, very fine tannin. Uh, and really, really a lot of aromatic. It's a really, really, really beautiful varietal and certainly the king of Chardonnay. The majority of uh, the grapes that are planted in Chardonnay are certainly Grenache. The north wind in this area is referred to as the mistral. It's an important part of the terroir effect as it keeps the vines dry and chases away the disease and also helps us with the maturity of the grapes. So here we're in our Syrah on trestles. The Syrah is around 50 years of age. If Grenache is the king, Syrah is definitely the queen. Uh, so we have 13 varietals that we can use in Chardonnay du Pape, but uh, Grenache is the predominant uh, varietal, uh, followed by Syrah. Syrah adds spice, floral note, and a lot of structure. It's a really important varietal in our blend. The Morveda is situated in a very red soil. Uh, this is an indication of really high iron levels and this tends to give us very beautiful, powerful wine. It's uh, the minority in terms of uh, the, the Grenache and the Syrah, there's, there's less of it, but it is the backbone, it gives us the structure and it certainly gives us the acidity. We get beautiful aromas from the Morveda, we get spices, dark fruit, some sandalwood notes. So it's a really important varietal in our blend. Now we are in the aging room. After the process of the vinification, the wine is ready to be aged for at least 18 months. So I'm using different vessels. Right now you can see this is like a concrete tank uh, in a very special shape. This is a pyramid shape. This is wonderful for vinification because I do vinify the whole vines from La Croix uh, in those uh, vessels, but I also age some of the wine um, for 18 months, uh, especially for the Cuvée Bellamy. Then I'm going to walk you through, and as you can see, I'm using different type of tank. This is wood tank, 
uh, called truncated tank. And they are absolutely wonderful uh, for vinification and aging. Uh, right now, as you can see, I'm aging Oma Jamarine 2019 in one of them. The wine will stay in, the, in that tank for at least uh, 18 months. About 20% of Bellamy is now aged in demi muy As you can see, this is a large barrel. They're actually 600 liters. They are not new oak. I do not use any new oak. This is uh, from 2 to 10 years old barrel. The goal is to add complexity and fine tannins and elegance to the wine. Now we are at the winery, so uh, basically I'm going to go through the process of the winemaking. The way I worked is pretty simple, minimum intervention as possible. Every single grapes is picked by hand uh, and very, very uh, carefully sorted on sorting table. Then it goes into a gravity fed system. Basically the grapes goes into a reception tank. That reception tank is moving on the top of the tank uh, we want to fill. And then, by pure gravity, the grapes will fall into the tank and will start the process of uh, fermentation. I do not use any single uh, commercial yeast. Everything is naturally fermented, uh, minimal uh, use of SO2, and uh, very gentle extraction. All about, it's all about the filling, and um, the goal of the gentle extraction is actually to extract as much elegance and finesse as possible. Uh, the terroir we just visited actually um, produced very, very fine, beautiful wines. You can make something really, really big out of it, but what I'm looking for is finesse and elegance. So our philosophy in the vineyards is organic. Uh, we're working very, very naturally in the vineyards. It's all about spending time in the vineyard uh, and working with the vines that we have manually. Our philosophy in the Chardonnay de Cap wines carries over into the rest of our range. For the Côte de Rhônes, the Lyrac, the Vrasto, the Tavel, the Caran, which are all unique and different in their own way. We're looking for the expression of terroir or typicity, and we honour this by doing a gentle extraction, keeping the elegance in the wine, the finesse and the balance. 